that the provision of the law uh, that provided the removal of subsidy from February 2021. Therefore, Mr. President's uh, pronouncement yesterday was in line with the law. However, what I can assure you that that uh, as an NDPRA, we are ready to license anybody that wants to import because NPC has always been the the supplier of uh, premium motor spirit. However, with the removal of subsidy, as pronounced by Mr. President, that has opened the floodgate for any intended uh, marketer or, or uh, company that, that wants to import uh, premium motor spirit in the country. We are ready to issue licenses uh, for, or permits for them to do so. At least that will open uh, more competition, and the NMPC now will reduce, of course. Uh, the body, the, there will be less burden on NMPC to continue uh, with this. So that's one. Number two, I also want to assure the public that uh, ourselves, uh, NNDPRA, and the Federal uh, Consum Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, uh, FCCPC, uh, will make sure that uh, uh, the customer or the consumer is not taken advantage of. Because I had a discussion earlier with Tunde, the uh, Commissioner of uh, uh, FCCPC, and where we, we tend to work together to ensure that the, the consumer is not taken advantage of. Secondly, or thirdly, I want to call upon all the marketing companies uh, to open up their, their petrol stations and depots to sell to the public because uh, uh, they will hear communication from NMPC because NMPC currently has uh, all the stock in the country. And NMPC will do their transfer price and when you ask what is going to be the price, I cannot tell you exactly because it's, it's, the market is deregulated. Therefore, it's going to be an open market based on the cost of delivery. So NMPC, of course, will advise all the marketing companies uh, 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 very soon to say this is their transfer price. And on the basis of that, they are now will translate into what the pump price is going to be. So there's not going to be any cap per se, but it's going to be based on the cost of importation. And again, I repeat, ourselves and the FCCPC uh, will ensure that the, uh, the consumer is not taken advantage of. This subsidy cost should have been money that will be given to the NMPC maybe on monthly basis or even on daily basis if necessary. But however, since the provision of the $6 trillion in 2022 and the $3.7 trillion in 2023, we have not received no payment whatsoever from the Federation. That means they are unable to pay and we continue to support the subsidy from the cash flow of the NNPC. Uh, that is, when we net off our fiscal obligations of taxes and royalty, there is still a balance that we are, we are funding from our cash flow, and that has become very, very difficult and affecting our other operations. We are not able to keep some of this cash to invest on our core businesses, and, and the end result is that it can be a huge challenge for the, for the company. And we have highlighted this severally to government that you, you, and they must uh, compensate NMPC, they must uh, pay back NMPC for the money that we have spent on, on the subsidy. Uh, fortunately, also by virtue of the provisions of the law and also the, uh, and the Appropriation Act 2023, it is no longer available for that funding. And the corporate, we are very convinced today that the country can no longer fund this subsidy bill and they will not be able to pay NMPC. And therefore, we are happy to please to note Mr. President's commitment to uh, elimination of this subsidy because they can't afford it anymore and we will take necessary steps to ensure that uh, we recover our costs from the market and also being mindful of the fact that you know a situation like this can lead to exploitation of uh, of customers and we're also working with the regulator who is here with me to see how we can cap any such uh, excessive uh, 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 management of uh, uh, greed, for, to, to, say the, to say the least, and this will be contained by virtue of the provisions of law, the, the authority or the Nigerian midstream and downstream regulatory authority, and the anti-competition anti uh, agency.